Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about a cool new feature in 8090 called Zero Touch Stacking. So, um, in a lot of cases, you're going to want to configure the stack your way with whatever unit numbers you want and, you know, and priorities you want. But in some cases, you don't really care, right? Say it's in a wiring closet, you just want to plug those switches in together, enter one command and let it do its thing. Let it find... Uh, the interconnects, let it find the trunks if there's multiple cables between switches, um, and it'll make changes for you automatically. So what zero touch stacking is, is really you turn it on, every three minutes it'll probe that stack to see if there's been any changes. Did you add a new switch? Did you add a cable? Did you remove a cable? All those things are going to be probed for and automatically changed uh, every three minutes. So it's basically going to take care of itself without any user interaction once it's set up. So let's have a look at how we set that up. So in this case, uh, I'm SSH'd into one of the switches. So you can console or SSH into, you know, one of the switches. It doesn't really matter which one, whoever you want to be the stack master, I guess. Um, just choose one. Right. The other ones we've already pre-cabled, so we've added the stacking cables already. Um, they're ready to go, but stacking is not enabled. So if I do a show stack right now, um, it's going to tell me that stacking is not enabled, and this is just a single standalone uh, local unit. Yeah. So um, we're just going to enable and then config T as always, and we do a stack enable. Okay, so it's saying that it's going to actively participate in stacking. The only other thing we need to do here is we just need to do a stack. And our, our new command here is zero dash touch dash enable, right? So we'll do that. Zero dash touch dash enable. And it's now enabled. So that is all you have to do to make this happen. And so, so now, as I said before, every three minutes, it's going to do a probe, right? And so it's going to do that probe. It's going to check out all the units through the stacking cables, determine if there's a trunk, determine if there's, you know, a loop, whatever the case, and it's going to build that stack for us. So it could take a few minutes, right? It's going to detect that the stack and all the units. Then it's going to reboot all the other units except for the stack master, which is this one that we're on, right? And after that, it's going to be done. So um, there's a sh new command, show stack zero touch. You see it here. So show stack zero touch is a new command. So zero dash touch. Um, and then we could do uh, status or see the log or the IPC counters, but mostly we're going to do status here. So under status, um, it says it, it can't be discovered by zero touch stacking because it's the one with, with stacking turned on, right? Or stacking enabled, I should say. Um, and then what you'll see here is zero touch enable uh, and stack enable are configured. It's done zero probes, right? And so here it says that zero touch uh, is three minutes and it will trigger in five seconds. So, so five seconds from now, it's going to do that. And then we'll see if it discovers any devices. So if I run that command again, it now says that it's done one probe and it's converted three uh, units to members. So it's actually gone out and found three other units in my stack. It's converted them into units. And those devices are actually um, going to start to reboot right now. Okay, so the other stack members are back up. So uh, let's have a look. If I do a uh, show stack, we now see that my stack is completely built, right? So here's my active. This is the switch that I'm on right now, um, right? Unit one, it's numbered the other ones, unit two, three, and four. Uh, so we have a standby, we have uh, two members, um, so all four of them are added in. It's detected accurately, uh, the cabling, right? So from, you know, 132 connects to 431, uh, 432 connects to 332, 331 connects to 232, and then there's a 
cable to, to close the loop here from 231 to 131. Um, so, you know, that's all been built automatically. Again, if, if this changed on the fly, if, for example, I added another stacking cable, it would automatically detect that every three minutes. Um, or if we lost a cable or we lost a unit, it will detect those changes and make them for you automatically. So, um, you know, it, it, this is about as easy as it could possibly get. And, it, and if you wanted to, at this point, I could turn off uh, the zero touch stacking and, you know, go back to a, an interactive. So if I wanted to renumber those, or I wanted to make manual changes, or I just didn't want it to probe every three minutes, I can turn off that, um, the, uh, the zero touch stacking and just go back to a traditional stack. So if you just want to build it and then, you know, and then turn it off, that's fine too. Uh, but anyway, you know, Cool new feature, especially if you're just building, you know, wiring closets or or uh, you just want the easiest possible way to stack devices uh, without a lot of interaction. This is it. Zero touch stacking, uh, you know, plug in the cables, two commands and off you go. All right. So that's it. We'll see you next time and take care. Have a great day.